Alright guys, welcome back to another video, and today, we're back in Call of the Wild. And I wanted to use some weapons that I haven't really used in a while, some ones that came when the game originally released. So that's pretty much the plan. We've got the 338, the 270, and the 243 with us. And this lake is absolutely loaded with animals. We got warthogs, and a ton of gemsbok, and most of the warthogs look like females so I saw a level 4 female that I'm gonna take out I think for a Gemsbok if I can spot it again right there I think that's the one we want to take I don't think it's big enough to be a diamond but it is a level 4 so there's always that chance that I just can't see it that well and it is so we're just gonna walk our way up to it and see if we can take it out with a 338 Alright, so we're 200 yards away, and it's directly facing us, and that's definitely not a diamond. It's not even close, I don't think. It looks like it has the same rack shape as that level 3. We'll take it out anyway for respawns. So we'll go for that shot. And that is a long shot, so we'll go over, pick them up, and see what it scores it's definitely not going to be too far into that upper estimate but it wasn't the max weight estimate so we can always hope for a respawn so let's go ahead and claim it all right our gems box down right up here and let's go ahead and pick her up and she definitely wasn't that far into that max estimate but we were able to make a vertebrae and left long shot at 182 yards so that's a decent start to the video. I'm not going to mount it because it's just not that close, but it's not bad. Let's keep hunting. So we got a level 8 lion out here. And it is alarmed. Hopefully that's a good shot, and it was. It was a double long shot, it looks like at least. So let's go over and pick him up. And yeah, level 8 lion, I'm pretty happy with that. Definitely a good chance for that to be a decent respawn, so let's go over and pick him up. Alright, so he's down right here, and it is a level 8, 46.9, so it's probably a lower end level 8, considering it's almost halfway between gold and diamond, so yeah, I'll take it. Definitely a nice opportunity to kill. We'll get back on our hunt for Gems Box since it's still their drink time for a little bit longer. So let's hit this last lake and then we'll probably go up for some Cape Buffalo. Alright, so we got some Cape Buffalo out here. Across this little river, we have some small ones, a level 7, then a level 3 female, but it's a small level 7. I think I hear rabbits or something to my left. No, those are buffalo. Level 8 aggressive. And it's a red, so it's actually a decent variation at least, so let's take it. That is a long shot, and that'll take him down very quickly. And he's down. So there we go, a level 8 uh, brown cape buffalo. And we got more, it looks like. So that one's just fleeing. It's a level 3. Let's go ahead and claim this guy. And there he is. He's only 11 off diamond. That's probably the big level 4 rack, I'd assume. And yeah, he's definitely going to the lodge. Uh, we got a double long shot. 6.29 yards. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. He'll go in our trophy lodge. And... Let's just keep looking around on this little river system. We have a level 9 aggressive Cape Buffalo. And he is big. We got long. We got long on him. He's gonna die. I, he's gonna kill me too if I don't get out of the way. But I know that happened really quickly um, for the video, but he just came out of nowhere and started charging me. 
And that's a level 9 down. I'm not sure if that's a big rack. Let's just go ahead and claim him. Oh. Yeah, there, he didn't really die in a good spot for a screenshot. And he's a diamond. 154. A diamond cape buffalo. There we go. So, he just came out of nowhere and started charging me, so... Gave him the smoke. And there we go. Let me get a screenshot in the harvest screen of him. But yep. Diamond's 151.3. He's 154. And pretty successful hunt, I'd say. Considering I didn't really expect to find a diamond of anything in this hunt, let alone a Cape Buffalo. I thought my Africa map was kind of dead, to be honest, but... Apparently not. I've never really run around this area, and I'm right up around here, and I've never really gone and tried this northern part for Cape Buffalo. And sure enough, we got a diamond up here, so that's pretty awesome. I'm going to keep hunting and looking for stuff, but you can't really get much better than that, so... Yeah, I guess we just got to keep looking around and see what else we can find. So I changed the time, and it is now nighttime. Because I wanted to hunt some kudu with the 270. And there's a little level 3 right out there. And we'll take him out. But yeah, I brought the night vision binoculars. But I did not bring the scope. Because I think the scope's pretty bad, to be honest. And yeah. I don't like 4 times zoom at all. But the binoculars are kind of nice, at least. Because, I mean, you can see a little bit better with them in certain situations. But... When there's fog like this, even the binoculars aren't that great because the fog really lights up and you can't see it too through it too well, while with the regular binoculars you can see just fine what through it, so let's go over and pick up our small level 3 kudu that we just dropped with the 270. And then let's look for some higher quality kudu. Alright, our kudu is down right over here. And he's just a small level 3. But yeah, the night vision binoculars are pretty nice, but the scoop I just am not a fan on. That's why I'm not using it. So, let's look for some bigger kudu. So, that's a bit better. We have out here, if I can spot it, there is a max weight level 4 kudu out there. That we'll gladly take. But I definitely can't seem to spot it, so we'll just work our way. A bit closer so we can get a better look at it and there it is 250 out so I'd like to get closer because it's in the middle of the zero waiting ranges but I'll actually probably take this mainly because if I get too low I won't be able to see it anymore so he's 230 out was zero for 164 And we'll drop him with a heart shot, probably. So that works perfect. And now let's go over and claim him. Alright, so our kudu's down right here. And he has a max weight level 4. A 29.4. So that's a solid kudu. We did make that lucky heart shot. And I'm not going to taxidermize him. But also across here... There is another max weight level 4, so we're going to shoot him as well. But this guy, he's a bit in a better area, so I can get a bit closer to him. I'll get within, like, this is fine, 216. Although now I can't spot him, so maybe this is not fine. There we go. Let's just take that. So when he lifts his head, we can take him. We can just take him now. That should be a solid hit, and it is. It is a long shot. So he's going to drop relatively quick, quickly. Now let's go over and claim him. Alright, I see some blood right up here. And it looks like a medium bleed rate, so he'll go a little ways, but it was a long shot, so he won't go too far. And he is down right up here. So let's go ahead and pick him up. 
And he's a 26.9, so he's significantly smaller than the last one, but still max weight level 4, 202 pounds, barely, by one, uh, by about 2 pounds, actually, but we'll accept it. I think we're going to try to find one more decent kudu, and then we're going to call it a video, so let's just go ahead and do that. So we got an absolute monster kudu out here, as you can tell, level 2 male. And this will be our last harvest of the video. And we dropped them. That was a spinal cord shot for sure. But I actually think that might count now. I think they might have changed that. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they very well might have changed it. So spinal cord shots actually count as a vital now. Which that should have been that way from the start, but... Uh, I guess EW doesn't think the same, so let's go over and claim our giant level 2 kudu. Something's running. Level 3. Alright, let's claim this guy. And there we go. Absolute giant. Um, Mid-range silver. Level 2. We actually got double lung and spine, so we won't be able to tell if spinal cord counts, but... That's going to wrap this one up. If you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.